All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MC Eternal with your best pal, Super Turtle. How are you guys doing today? This is such a fantastic day. You know, we tried to do bees. I, I, I'm not going to lie. In our live stream last, we said we were going to do bees, this guy up here, but uh, it didn't work out. And it ended up uh, really backfiring when I accidentally miss vein mined and vein mined half of our building. So we're not going to be doing bees today. Because for one, it's a little too cold up here for all of our bees. The only ones that work up here are the forest queen and drone. Yeah. And even, like, because it's saying it's way too cold. Um, yeah, too cold, not going to work, which really, really sucks. So what we're going to be doing today instead is doing the rainbow generators, as you guys can see from the beginning of this or the title of this video. And we're going to start a mini series called Our Quest for Ultimate Power. Now, rainbow generators, they require everything. They require all of all of the generators combined. So we're going to have to go through. We're going to have to make each one of these guys. So we're going to need to make the bottom and the top. Now, we're going to start with the top because the top is the best. And we're going to go through and chisel out all of these. And we're just going to have a good time doing it. So we need a culinary generator. We should be able to make this if we just make some of these guys. Now, there's a good chance that we'll need. Oh, we don't need to make any more. Okay, cool. So we just need one. So we got him here. We need a death generator. We got it. All right. We need a uh, that thing. Okay. Now we need the ender generator. Right. We need a magmatic generator. That shouldn't be an issue. We need a frosty generator. No issue there. We need a furnace generator. We already got one. Let's go ahead and make another one just for just for stuff and giggles. Uh, now we need to make a disenchantment generator. So we need magical wood which we can get from gold and that, but we need to put in a normal crafting table and we need a book shelf. Book S, yes, Monka S, cool beans. We do have a little bit of experience. Uh, let's see here. Da -da -da. Our walking seems very loud. I don't know why, but it's cool. So this guy here, bam. So many levels. Look, we're already, we did, we, I think we lost 100 levels in that. I is sad. Okay. But that would be okay. So we make one of these. Cool. So now we should be able to make the top generator. Top generator. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, this is awkward. Okay. So now we need to make a, okay. So we can go ahead and get rid of all these generators because we have the top one. Okay. Now we don't even need the top. Now we need the bottom half. So we need boom, 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 boom. So, nether star generator should not be an issue whatsoever. Overclocked generator, zero issue whatsoever. Heated redstone. Heated redstone. Oh, we do need to make another magmatic generator, unfortunately. This seems to be like a tier two one, which is pretty cool. So, we swap that out. Yep, heated redstone generator. Pink generator. I don't know if we can make that one. Nope, we cannot. But we can make this. So, maybe we can. Okay, let's get some puppies. Yeah. All right, now we can make the pink stuff. Okay, we got to stack the pink stuff. Now we need to make one pink hoo. Like so. Now we can make the pink generator. All right, now the explosive generator. We can make that. The survival generator, no prob. Slimy generator, Z Do we have a slimy generator? We got a slimy generator, so we don't have to worry about it. And a potion generator. Now we need to make this guy here, which is zero issue, like I said earlier. And bada bing, bada boom, we can make the bottom half. Okay, maybe. There we go, bottom half. Okay, now we combine them together. And we get the rainbow generator. Now let's see here. Now we have a whole bunch of grid power, so let's go ahead, place this guy down. Okay, so you guys are probably face palming in the comment section. Uh, I'm terribly sorry about that. Uh, we need to have these in the general vicinity, obviously making power. So this is going to be our quest for the next few episodes. So we're going to get Nether Star generators uh, automated. I wonder, can we? Can we go like this and maybe put this on a bobble or something? No, we can't. Okay, so we have to have it in our inventory, unfortunately. Uh, that's fine. Uh, unless we can go like click it, maybe shift click. Nope. Okay. So we need to get each of these generating power. 
So that means we're going to need to go ahead and um, make a system to get all of our items over there. So I think the best way to do that would honestly be another um, quantum quarry. So what it happens, so what it's going to take, is we have to get every single generator that we used around it. And we need to get those generating power. Okay, so we need to get one of each of these things. So disenchantment, we can easily do that, which is awesome. Uh, so we're just going to get to all of these generators up there. I'm going to put all these generators around, and then we are going to get up there, and we'll show you how we're going to automate it. Okay, so we're back up at the top here. Now, I want to keep everything uh, very uniform. So we might need to actually just, uh, kick these out one more block. So we're going to put three in between, and we're going to keep everything that's relatively the same power next to each other. Um, and I don't know if we can have, I don't know if we can have that guy there, but we're going to go ahead and put lava stuff over here. Maybe a pink generator, frosty generator. We'll put over here by the nether thing. Disenchantment. We'll put over here by the nether thing. Ender power. Maybe over here. Cause it's mob drop. Um, this thing is from the end. So we are going to put this near the end one death over here. Culinary. We're going to need food for it. Uh, potion is going to be difficult, but we're going to do it. And magmatic generator will go over here as well. Let's see how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think it's 16 uh, of these guys. So we just need to go ahead and get these guys working. Now 16 should be... If we had a 4 by 4 by 4 it would work, but we don't. So we're going to... I guess we're going to have to make this do. Which is okay. All right, so we need to start by automating these guys here. Now, slimy generators, okay? Let's look at them. I believe it's here. So uses. Uh, so we need milk and slime balls. Now, the cool thing is, is that we can turn one of these slime islands into a farm because slimes will obviously spawn there. We make a few spawning platforms, and then we push them off into a mob masher, and we can automate them. So I think that'll be a good one to start uh, today. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We uh, Before we do that, though, I want to get milk automated. Now, the best way I know to automate the milk generator part portion of this is to go ahead. And we need to get a mi our cow in a jar. Now, I don't think we have a cow in a jar yet. We do not. Okay, so we need to get we need to snatch a cow. So we need a mob mob guide. This thing, a mob infuser, whatever we call her. What is this? Okay, we don't need that. Now we need an anvil. All right. Uh, I think we need to make an anvil. All right, and then cow. Yes, this thing here. So we need a milk jar. Now we need to... Actually, let's go get a cow, actually. Whoa! Oh, man, it actually does work. Thanks for killing my cow. At least we got a milk bucket. Okay, so we're going to need to find a total of three cows here. Unfortunately, we only have one, so we're going to have to do this in a few attempts. But we're going to go ahead and do this here. We're going to place our cow here like so, and then we're going to take our anvil and go... Pink. Pop, he's in! All right, so he's generating some milk for us, which is great. So we can go ahead and pick him up. Now we're going to need to go grab another cow, and we might actually try to do... I'm going to grab another mob imprisonment tool, so that way we don't have to go back. Okay, we are back here, so let's go ahead and do this two more times. So the cow in, and the anvil. Pop, he's in. Grab the anvil, grab the cow. Cool beans, we just got one more to go. All right, so boom, he's in, boom. Shakalaka, all right, very cool. So we can go ahead here and we are gonna set up a system for our milk. So we need to go ahead and make some ender tanks. Ender tanko, we need two of these guys. One, two. Now we're going to make these brown for cat. Brown and white. Or not cow. We need brown. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get four brown. 
four. And then we're also going to go ahead and grab two diamonds to make it on a private system here. So let's go ahead and go pow, pow. That should go lava with the on our lava system. I don't think we have a bunch of lava in there, so it's okay. So we're going to go brown, 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 brown. Cool. Now this is our milk channel. Cool beans. We're going to go ahead and poke a hole into our wall back here, and we're going to set this these bad boys up. Uh, we're going to need some fluid conduit. Fluid conduit like this. We're going to need to get a drum. Okay, we're going to upgrade that to the better drum. And can we make it into the the demonic drum? We sure can. Okay, so we're going to have so much milk, peoples. All right. So this is going to be our end spot for them. The cows need to go up towards the top like so. And we need to have some ender conduits going like this, extracting the milk out. We don't want to be inserting into here. We just want to be extracting. All right, now we're going to put this guy here like so. And this guy will be on insert. And, and this is getting filled with milk. Very cool. So now we can just simply go here like this. And this will start taking... Um, we need to break that. Do I have my Yetta wrench? I don't think I do. Let me go get it. Okay, so we need to disconnect this here like that. Cool. So it's going to be using this as a backlog for our milk here. And once this fills up, this will start to fill up better. And so that'll be awesome. So we can go ahead and speed these guys up. So we can start getting milk for our slime generators. Very cool. As you can see, that's filling up pretty quick. All right, so it seems like this slime island just doesn't spawn any more slimes, unfortunately. We did get a bunch of witches there, so I know that this, the mob cap isn't there, uh, which is quite unfortunate because we did spend a little bit of time on it. So we need to go ahead and get our mob imprisonment tool, and we need to bring back a, um, a slime so we can get him into one of the farms and go ahead and start getting some slime balls automated. All right, so it looks like we're going to need to make some slime seeds in order to do this, and in order to get these, we need to get these mob... Uh, chunks here. So at Mystical Agriculture, we're going to have to go ahead and get one of a, it's called a Solium Dagger. Now, do we have the things for it? I don't think so. That is okay. We just need some Solium. We don't have any Solium. We need some Solium Dust. How do you get Solium Dust? You get it by doing this. We don't have any Soul Sand. Where did all the Soul Sand go? It probably went into our Wither Farm. Shoot. Okay, so let's make the most ultimate solium dagger we've ever seen in our lives. So smite, smite five on here, looting three, we're going to get unbreaking three, and mending. So now we're going to go kill a bunch of zombies, and we're going to get some of those mob chunks so we can make ourselves some slime seeds. This will also let us make some gas seeds too if we're, if we're smart. Okay, so I found out that using or that killing cows and sheep was actually a more efficient way of getting the tier two ones than going after the um, going after the zombies. So we can go ahead and smelt these guys up here. All right, we got our four that we need for our slime chunks here. Bam! Let's get this bread. Yes. So now, should everything but the seeds. Let's go ahead and craft up those tier two crafting seeds. Shouldn't take long at all. Boop. And there we go. Slime seeds. Yeah, buddy. So we can go ahead and we're going to go and maybe swap one of these out. Uh, so we really don't need all that much signalum. Um, so let me try to see if I can find it. I think I found it here. These signalum seeds, they are. So we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to take all these out. And we are going to replace these. Okay. So the slime seeds are going to go here instead. Oh, sorry about that. And rubber. Yeah, we have too much signalum seeds anyway. Okay. So now we can start getting this slime essence in here with this guy. And we'll be having a great time. Now, I, I do also have my water bucket, right? Yes, I do. My watering can. So this will greatly help these seeds grow. Look at that. Slime essence. And the cool thing is the more of these grow, the more of these we can put back. So it's going to be just a great time. All right. So we've got a quantum ring set up here on our, um, what are we calling this? We're calling this our generation island because that's what's going on. 
So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we are going to take this ender tank and very simply just do this. And that doesn't seem to be working. How do we... How do you make that work? It has to be a bucket. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just going to use a fluid transposer then. Okay, that's not too difficult at all. Fluid transposer. Here we go. We're going to need some conduit. Here we go. We're going to get some buckets. I'd like to get 16 buckets. All right. And then we're going to need some filters. We're going to grab two filters here. All right. Let's head on over. Okay. So we're going to need to grab this guy here. We don't need him. We're going to go ahead and put this fluid transposer here. We're going to take our ME, this guy. All right. This is going to be input from the top. Yep. Okay. So we're doing well. Now we're going to be exporting out the back. Uh, actually, we need to move this further away. One block. Just kidding. Where are these torches? Let's grab that torch. We'll place it here. Okay. And so we need to put an item conduit here. And we need to extract filter. This filter needs to be a blank bucket. And then this filter needs to be a full bucket. Hold up, there you are. Place that. Whitelist only. Extract. And we will whitelist. Extract. Now, if we take this conduit here like so, we're going to go ahead and disable that one. And from the left side will be that. Yeah, okay, so that's filling up with water. Put these buckets in here. Okay, so this needs to be on insert. We need to be extracting on brown and inserting on brown. Yep. All right. We are generating power. So this is all set up. This is good to go. We might be able to hide this uh, underneath here eventually. I will set that up later off camera. But that is it. The slimy generator, guys, is up and operational. I will need to set up auto crafting for the essence to be converted into slime balls. But we are one step closer ooh, excuse me, to getting our rainbow generator up and working. I hope you guys all did enjoy the video. I just noticed that it's not centered, but who cares? I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.